Change is inevitable. I welcome change. Roxbury changed from my mother's era to mine, to my children's, and now to my grandchildren. On a Saturday afternoon, I could grab my change and head to one of three theaters on Washington Street. Yeah, at one time, there were three theaters. The Riverly, the Dudley, and the Uptown. I sing my lion song Brush my mane And she would if she but with all the gentrification in motion for Dudley Square, I want to know if there'll be a black neighborhood for my grandkids to play in, to learn, to shop, to raise their kids, and my great grandbabies. Yes, I am thinking long term. I'm planning like the government plans. When she dances around my cave. I'm trying to set in motion a fury of black leaders that won't let their community be overrun by big box stores like Walmart and Subway, driving out our silver slippers and our Nubian notions. And I cut my mane. Black people have to form coalitions buy land, create businesses, and support those businesses if we don't want to be squeezed out of the areas that we've lived in all our lives. Opportunists will find any entry they can and come in. The next thing you know, the neighborhood you grew up in is now a Walmart taking up 20 acres of land. The Dorchester Roxbury area is filled with culture, rich in history. The thought of it becoming a generic town is heartbreaking. We can't allow this to be done. Dudley Square was my old stomping ground. I used to play in the alley where the Haley House now stands. She dances around my cage. This is why I'm so passionate about our Dudley Square. This is why, for 35 days straight, me and Brother Lowe and many others protested to give jobs to Boston residents. I know bus stops have to be eventually moved, bike trails constructed, but I don't want to lose our community. I don't want it wiped out. Roxbury, so rich in history. Malcolm X walks these streets. His spirit is still here. We have to make sure that this community stays in our hands. Uh, the kind of fabric that is a beautiful tapestry, a tapestry that is still mainly young threads, and we need to think about how to weave those into something that will be, uh, that will make us proud, but that will also give an economic uh, uh, capacity to sustain the change and grow from it. So I expect that any substantial development will have many levels of impact, that that impact will build on what is already here, will expand it in ways that are economically sensible, and will tap into our heritage of uh, business, culture, and entertainment. <laughs> 